Hey, how's it going guys? Fallen Rain here again for another little segment of the Fallen Rain YouTube, all of that good, good stuff covering the animes, the games, the mobile apps, the PS4, the VR, so on it. You know, I mean, when I get to that, so now VRs, uh, I haven't got to that yet. But anyway, so uh, today we've got for you Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, another game that I play definitely religiously, even though I slowed down a little bit in this past a little bit, because I've got to a stage now where my squad is like. It can still improve, but it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's there. All right, and it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all, not in this game. This game, you have to pave your way, literally. You know what I mean? Um, whether you do that strategi uh, strategically by saving jewels for a particular event where there's going to be a really, really good medal coming out and you're like, right, boom, I'm getting that. Regardless, like, you know, you can go for the guaranteed ones or... You know, sometimes they do little events where they get out the EX medals and stuff, which are the most powerful so far. You know what I mean? But this particular game, yeah, trust me, it wasn't easy, man. Um, I've paid a lot of money to basically get the squad I've got today, right now here, for you. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. So, this is this this segment is going to be about squad building. Okay, I'm just going to keep it very, very general, very, very brief. Um, just talking about um, how to build a really, really good squad. All right. So, with these five that I've got here right now, yeah, they all have different kind of skill sets, right? Okay. So, firstly, you've got like a like. Let's go with. Let's talk about the the heavy attacker. Okay. So, in my particular squad here, she's the heavy attacker. Okay. Because it says here, inflicts more damage when more garages are, garages are used this turn. Okay. That I don't know the calculation of it, but it really really affects how much damage she does she does ridiculous damage by the end of me using all of my gouges throughout my cycle of five people and then she's the sixth one yeah sixth one she does like something like nearly seven hundred thousand easy seven hundred thousand easy right so that of course is um combined with her special attack bonuses her base stats, her additional skills, you know what I mean? So yeah, we need to cover all that, but I'm going to cover that in another episode because all of those specifics are, you know, we need to really get into detail with those. So I'm going to cover that in another video, but I want to keep it very, very general today. So she's your, he's the heavy, she's the heavy hitter, all right, out of my group, okay? Now I've got another heavy hitter, which is this guy right here. He does, um, he does decent damage. Yeah, he does about two, maybe 250, 220 to 250 roughly. Um, so them two combined, they're hitting a million. They're hitting basically a million. You know what I mean? So um, he's good because he does a lot of hits as well. He does eight hits. So um, sorry, I should have said like, no, that's not his total damage though. The 200 and the 220 to 50,000 is actually every one hit. So really and truly, he's doing about, he's nearly doing a million himself, excuse me. Yeah, he's nearly doing a million himself, pretty much. And then, um, the one who I spoke about before, Lark Scene, um, she, if she does 7,000, that's, yeah, 2.1 million. She's doing 2.1 million. Right. And again, like I said, that's to do with all of the extra stats and boosts that they've put on, but... I want to, like I said, cover just squads for this for this segment. So yeah, um, so yeah, hard hitters. Those are my two hard hitters mainly. All right. Then you have. Um, let me go to healing. All right. So healing. Right. So I used to have someone before who was very very specific with healing and didn't do much damage, and that was the Kyrie Illustrated number two. She heals a lot of health. Um, she gives you a lot of gouges back as well, which you're going to definitely need because, um, you know, your gouges run out as more and more and more you use them. Um, so, yeah, she used to heal up 10 gouges, so she was really good. But she's been replaced with Kyrie, this Kyrie, the EX version, because of the amount of things that this particular Kyrie has. She is one of the best uh, medals in the game, without a doubt. Fact. She is one of the best medals in the game and literally every practical uh, over 70-80% use her as her as their actual um, shared medal. Um, yeah, she's amazing. She heals enough. She's got a HP recovery of level 4. 
So that is enough to heal up my unit. So I can then have a slot free to then put someone else into. And then she does tons of other stuff like, you know, stat reductions, stat increases. So she puts you up to stat seven straight away with her strength, with an upright as well. And then she puts the stats down for other enemies by six. So like, you know, and then she heals up five gounders as well. She's just good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She's just good. You know, so anyway, um, yeah, she's really, really good. And then, um, yeah, I'll get into stats another time. I really feel like talking about it, but I want to keep this as short as possible and I can just feel the time going already. <laughs> I want to keep it brief. So anyway, so yeah, you've got the healers, you've got the heavy hitters, you've got healer, you've got the healer. And then you've got Master Xehanort here, for example. He's a bit of an in-between between both. He does some decent damage and he does do stat reduction as well. Now, the thing is with the Kyrie is that her... Um, her when she boosts up your strength, it's only your um, standard strength because there's two different types. You've got the um, attribute strength. So, for example, magic-based strength, power-based strength, or speed-based strength. And then you've got the standard strength. She's up, she she um, she boosts up your standard strength. But Xehanort now, he boosts up my magic strength. Okay? So, he is going to boost up everybody, especially when my hard hitters come in. Like him, for example, he's before him. So when he hits, he's going to have that. They're going to all have those stats there. And then he is going to get that extra boost because they're all magic based medals. Okay. Now, um, so that's healers. That's heavy attackers. Now we've got um, imitations. So copy based medals. So like him, for example, uses the same special attack as the next medal works only when in front. So he is going to do that. He's going to do her. Now, it's it's definitely reduced by about something like 50%, something like that. But he's still hitting for something stupid like 200,000 something. You know what I mean? For his hits as well, with all the boosts put on. So that's really, really good. And then um, we've got Namine here, who again is an imitation medal. She copies her. So we already spoke about her and how good she is. I've been trying. I was trying to get her for so long. You don't understand. I put money, money into this one, man. I was so glad when they came up with the top draw deal. Oh man, I, I was happy with that because it pretty much guarantees for you to get her Namine or um, this Kyrie as well. Like you know, and I just kept doing it. It's only a thousand jewels, which isn't too bad. So I just kept doing it, and when I finally got her, I was like, yes, I need her. You hear her, or the illustrated um, um, Sion, Sion, something like that, Exion, or she, no, Sion, probably, um, is good, right? And um, the illustrated uh, Sion, Sion, <laughs> is um, exactly the same as Kyrie, but pretty much the reverse metal type. So she's obviously the upright strength. He would have um, pretty much the exact same. Um, the, he's got the exact same stats and um, additional skills and stuff, but he's a reverse medal. So any one of those two are the best overall medals in the game because of the amount of things they have on one particular medal. And that's what it's all about. It's all about increasing your magic tiers, increasing your stat tiers, so whether that's power, speed or magic. It's about um, but yeah, buffing up and debuffing enemy stats. You know, and then whatever else you have on as your additional skills at the bottom. All right. So I'll do that definitely. Um, uh, let's talk about survival tactics. All right. Because there are enemies who have been completely like, you know, boosted up, overpowered, just ridiculously overpowered for. I don't even know what reason, you know what I mean? But they've been ridiculously overpowered, especially enemies that are in events. You are not, you're, you're not surviving without being killed. All right. The idea is to survive so that you can then keep hitting them with damage. It's the whole thing. Concept of offense is the best defense. There's not really much defense in this game. There are some additional skills which give you a chance of reducing down enemy damage, but the chances of it are usually very, very low. I haven't found. Uh, the very high quality defense stat yet, which gives you a better chance. 
you know, um, when I was having them before, I think I've got one of my members actually, I'll give you an example. Uh, where's that? Marax, you know, whatever his name is, whatever. So, here's a great example. So, um, cuts enemy damage by 7 eighths. You know, that's a decent little amount. You know what I mean? But the problem is, is that the trigger rate is so low. And that's a defense that boosts four as well. Like, how higher can you get, like, do you know what I mean? So even if I put that up to level 20, yeah, like, what, it's going to be maybe a one, an extra 1% by that point? 38%, it's not worth it. You still, you you know, it's, it's not worth it. You know? So anyway, the best thing I say to use for survivability is second chance. Now, second chance allows you to survive a fatal hit blow and have still one um, hit point remaining. And, you know, if you've got someone who heals up, like, it really doesn't matter even if you're at one HP because you can just instantly heal everyone up just like that. Boom. Right? So, if you combine that along with the pet, which is a very, very good feature that came into the game, you can also, you also get a... Um, you also get a one HP survival, similar, very similar to second chance as well. So you've got two chances to basically survive and deal a ton of damage to the enemy. This is very, very important for clearing mobs and events. It's very, very important that, you know, um, because no team is going to survive getting hit with like, <laughs> so I'm like sometimes three million in, in in damage. You know what I mean? Like you just don't have the HP for that. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, I don't even see people over ten thousand in HP. Like it's it's the the game's not about HP. It's about damage. Trust me, it's all to do with damage, damage, damage. All right, and buffs and stuff like that. So the whole game is about definitely buffing up and stuff. Um, you know. I'll show you a couple of other squads that I used to use as well that I still got on here. So this is my main squad now because of the boosts that I can put on the Keyblade, all right? Um, the Keyblade also has, um, no, sorry, no, no, that's the traits of what's, all these traits here are what's already on, so my medal, excuse me. Um, but the Keyblade, Basically, when you can boot, when you boost it up with um, clicking level up on here, mine's on level 30. I think the maximum's about 34 or something like that. Um, you get basically overall stat boosts um, on every single medal. So you see how you've got here like the Kyrie at 2.5 and then 2.30, 2.0. So all of their stats are going to be basically pretty much doubled in overall strength which affects um, the top bit there, which says strength at 122,501, all right? So that's my overall strength, yeah? But how that calculates the damage is ridiculous. Trust me, like, I'm doing at least, my whole total squad must be doing at least about three, four million now, maybe more, and that's pretty decent, you know? Some people who have even higher squads than me, um, they can do up to like, pfft, I don't know, man, like at least, 11 million i remember one of the leaders of a party that i had I asked him about his damage rate and he was like yeah mate, i do pretty much 11 million i'm like bloody hell <laughs> i know you paid money for this man <laughs> anyway just like me <laughs> but anyway so um yeah so again uh, this has turned into a very long video very quickly so anyway um yeah so that's 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 an overall you know what i mean like you know there's a lot to this game in a sense you know and even me talking about it the first time i even realized how much there is to explain compared to other games in terms of how you do damage and things like that but um if i just show you another squad here for example this is my old squad all right so this keyblade allows you to have um you know like a kind of a multiple of different attributes from from the power to the speed and the magic and you know Again, in a sense of my overall strength wise, this squad is higher. But because of the boosts that I get through the actual medals themselves, like this squad won't deal as much damage as my other one. Because they're just boosted up into a whole nother level in terms of they're all magic based and then I've got magic based tiers and da 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 da. So, yeah. But nevertheless, this is still a, a, a really decent squad. I've changed it a lot throughout the time. I, knew, I recently just got the Sephiroth actually, I haven't really boosted him up at all yet, but he's pretty good, you know, P puts up your power stats by 5 and everything, um, but yeah, 
I hope that kind of um, covers at least an overall look at how to build better squads. You know, I hope it was informative for you. And um, I'll definitely be doing more covering very more specific um, um, stat kind of calculations and how things work a little bit better. But I hope that kind of gives you a general idea of how to build stats. All right, and let's just let's just review that one more time. You need a healer, okay? You need someone to heal your squads and to re um, to recover your gouges if you have a person like that. You need a very hard hitter. That's a third. You need a very very big hitter. I've got two, like I showed you, but you need a, definitely need a big hitter that's gonna, you know, rack up the points. And then you need a stat booster. Right, you need a stat booster, which is my Kyrie max that would boost up all of the um, necessary. Well, Kyrie and Xehanort, sorry. That would boost up all the necessary stats so that your overall damage output is going to be at the highest it can be. Those three things, get those tackled, and you'll definitely have a good squad. And if you can balance them to all magic based um, units as well, that's even better. Your overall damage is just going up and up and up and up. All right. So anyway, I hope that was an informative video for you. There will be more to come. And um, yeah, until then, stay blessed. Enjoy the Easter and everything. And um, yeah, check to you soon.